In this episode, we'll take another closer look at the AVX wireless system. In this particular case, we'll be looking at outdoor distance and the dynamic range feature. All right, we are testing two things. It's actually raining out here right now, but the show must go on. Number one, we are testing outdoor distance, so I'll walk away as I'm talking. We'll see how far we can get. And secondly, we'll test the dynamic range. I'll start yelling a little bit and see what the Sennheiser does here in terms of compressing that so that we don't distort. So let's go ahead and give it a try. So I started about 10 meters away from the camera. Oh, by the way, we are recording this into a Panasonic GH4. And uh, now I'm walking out in this little gravel walkway here. And oh, look at that, we have a rainbow. We added uh, kind of some beautiful visuals for you as well. <laughs> I would say right now we're probably 50 meters away and we should be holding a signal pretty nicely. We're in the body pack on my belt back here, belt back here I should say. And I would say at this point we're probably 75 meters away. I don't know if I'm still in the frame or not. And I'm going to walk down this dirt road a little bit and we'll see how far this takes us. We are still within line of sight for now, but we're going to dip out of line of sight in just a second here. This road goes down. And we're not within the frame, but we're definitely within line of sight of the camera. So here I would say... Let's go fully. This, what I'm going to do is yell here. The Sennheiser is supposed to just magically somehow take care of this. I assume they're doing some sort of compression and then expansion. I'm um, not going to get into the details, but let's go ahead and talk loud. So first of all, I'm going to talk really, really soft. And again, we're recording the Panasonic GH4. I have the output level set to two out of four on the Sennheiser and the input level on the Panasonic GH4 set to minus six. So that's what this one sounds like when I'm kind of walking, talking quietly. Now let's get a lot louder. Hello! <laughs> Again, Mike is hidden just down here. I don't know if I'm getting any clothing noise or not. I wasn't moving a whole lot, but you know, walking around can definitely get you some of that clothing noise. Hello! Test! One, two! Check! One, two, three! Now the distance test outdoors is pretty much in line with what I expected. I never shoot this way with my talent 50 meters from the camera. But if you need to, it's good to know the limits of your gear. And in this case, I think you're pretty solid up to 50 meters if you've got line of sight between the camera and the receiver. If you get beyond that, that's when things start getting a little bit dodgy. So something important to keep in mind, it's pretty much in, again, in line with the RODELINK wireless system. Now the dynamic range feature looks very interesting to me on the other hand. This is not your automatic gain control from the early days of video shooting DSLRs. This is much more sophisticated and it works really quite nicely. I was surprised when I, brought the audio file into Adobe Audition and looked at it. In the shouting parts, the waveforms did not distort, they didn't clip. And in the quieter sections, they were still very present, so you could still very much hear them. So it's doing some very interesting things in near real time or real time. And I think that alone could be a very useful feature and an argument for why you may want to look at this system over something like a RODELINK or other less expensive systems. Stick around. In the next week or two, we should have the final review on the AVX wireless system. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do that. We'll be sure to get you more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. Talk to you soon.